Good evening team, I'm Corey and thanks for coming and joining me. Today we're going to be doing some live coding. I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to turn down the music in my ear just a little bit. Awesome. Okay, today we're going to do some live coding as usual and we're going to do some Rust today, um, as is usual again. Um, and we are going to be working on some of the Fly.io Gossip Glommers challenges. So these are a series of distributed systems challenges brought to you by fly.io and um, a couple weeks back I started working through these and uh, just took a break for a few weeks but today I think I am gonna get back to it. Um, so these challenges uh, run on this platform called Maelstrom, that's what I'm gonna call, uh, how, to, how I'm gonna pronounce that anyways. Um, it basically lets you like uh, pretend to be a di distributed system and it verifies sending messages back and forth and stuff. Um, and each of our little binaries that we're going to write to solve these challenges uh, just communicate out over standard in and standard out, but like in a very basic HTTP like protocol. Um, and so I'm currently on the broadcast challenge and I'm on 3D of the broadcast challenge. So this is the efficient broadcast challenge. Um, so now we're gonna, uh, we made sure that we can send messages between nodes in a distributed system. And even if there are network faults or a server's down or something, we'll like retry and do this gossip protocol so that everyone gets all the messages. Um, but now we're going to try to make it not completely inefficient. Uh, we want to make it so that, uh, the amount of messages we send in our servers per like operation, a user dose is below 30. We want to say that the medium median latency for user functions is um, 400 milliseconds and the maximum latency is 600 milliseconds. Uh, so we just need to uh, be a little more efficient. And so we can run, I have a little script to run each little part. So in our broadcast thing, we can do run part D. And this is what Maelstrom is going to do. So it's going to boot up all of my workers and then send messages back and forth between them kind of as I specify it does pretend to be the user but then it also like is the network and facilitates messages between the different nodes that I'm writing and so this runs I think it's like a 20 or 30 second run in this um, test and eventually it do 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 we just are now I think waiting for the results to come in there we go. Okay, everything looks good. So that means we did, um, like, you know, all the messages got everywhere. We didn't drop many messages um, or any, hopefully, but um, not positive about that. And then these are the latencies. So the max latency here is 941 um, till they got to stable. So till they, uh, like, till all nodes knew about a number. Um, and then, you know, the, ha the, the median is 518. We want to get that under 400 and this under 600. So a ways to go there. Um, and then this just lists all the numbers. But up top here, um, under servers, we have messages per operation, which is 150 right now, and we need to get that under 30. So I think the messages per op is really the thing that we need to, to work on. So we want to send less messages. We want less of a chatty server. Um, so that's going to be the goal. But I think we actually might do something slightly tangential today. Give ourselves some tooling for later. Um, okay, because right now, um, everything works very synchronously, right? We just take a message from standard in and try to do something with it. And we, you know, um, um, and it's working, but I think we want to, um, do something a little different. So actually here's what we have right now. We have a few threads and, and there's some stuff going on that's worth talking about. So we have what we're calling a gossip manager. And this is responsible for knowing what nodes have received a message and resending it to nodes that haven't. Um, so that's our gossip manager. We have our request handler. This takes in messages from the standard in and does something with them. Um, and then we have a standard out thread, which we don't have a struct for. We just like do some stuff inline, but basically it just takes, um, it just receives things um, on its, uh, what is it called? uh multiple ch crossbeam channel channels so it receives things on its channel and just puts them to standard out um so this is just so that we only have one thing writing to standard out at a time um and then we have our our gossip 
thread and our uh, request request thread. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, one thing that would be kind of nice, though, is if we had some asynchronous going on, so that instead of um, so I guess let's look at this. Our request handler has this handle requests method, and it reads from standard in, and it keeps looping, and it just reads lines from standard in, and once it's read a line, it figures out how to respond to it. Um, handle request. Um, do, 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 do. So yeah, handle request is going to be the thing that we like have um, in my series three. Um, where is oh in requests uh, so here is handle request so for a single request what are we going to do with it um, and so this has things where like um, we'll get a broadcast okay message from peers we gossip to so like this is actually a response to a request we sent so it's like inverting the request response flow and it would be really cool is if when we go to send these, when we send gossips, um, that was actually async, right? So we could send a gossip and like just be asyncing the, the response back. Um, and I think that would clean up some of our code paths a little bit. But let's actually just glance at what's going on because it's been a few weeks, like I said. Um, so what things are we expecting to come in to our system? Um, we're expecting broadcast events. These are just like, you know, send it to everyone. Um, if we get one of those, we check if we already have it. If we do already have it, we're just like, cool. Um, we're just going to return a broadcast response. Does this need to be a broadcast okay response? Oh, rename it to broadcast okay. Yeah, okay. So these are all the okays. Um, and then it's in response to this message ID. Awesome. Um, if we didn't know about it, though, we push it. So we add it to the things that we've, we've received and we gossip about it. And then we respond with the same, the same thing. Um, if they ask for a read, we're going to give them all of the message, all of the values we know about. So read is just give me all the values. Uh, so we just clone them. Um, topology is it takes a topology and saves it. So this is like what uh, nodes are near you. This is like a suggestion that I think we're using today, but we might end up not. Um, yeah, because the gossip handler gets sent this topology to handle. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, if we got a broadcast OK a request, it means it's actually a response to something. So we send that down to our gossip handler. OK, and then our, in our gossip handler over here, We've got handle gossip, which do 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 tries receiving. Um, if it got a topology message, it saves it. Awesome. If it needs to gossip something, it records a timestamp. Okay. Awesome. And then for all of the things in topology. Okay. So we are using our self dot topology that's passed in. Um, we're going to look at all of our neighbors, all of the things in it that aren't us, and we're going to send a broadcast message. We're going to make a job for that broadcast message. The job has the run at in it, which is cool. Not sure why, but it's, it's nice that we have it. And then how many attempts? Oh, okay. So this is for back off stuff. Yeah. For failures. Nice. Okay. So then we push something to our queue. We can queue our job. Um... If you try to receive and we did a got response gossip queue, we retain all the messages that aren't there. Yep. So the gossip queue holds the things that we're waiting on responses about. Um, and then if it's a disconnected, we break and we're done. If it's empty, a message could not be received because the channel is empty. Then we uh, record a timestamp. We get the standard out sender. And then for... Oh, so this is just running job. Okay. Four jobs in the 
it or Q. If the job we run at is less than now, we do all our jobs. So this is how we run jobs um, if we don't have any gossip to handle. Um, we, we resort to running as many jobs as we can. If job dot run at is less than now, yep. Job dot send. We send it using the standard out sender. Yep, we need to have that and our node. Yep, okay. And job when you send it makes a message, makes a broadcast message with destination and source. Um, output is that. Um, okay, and then this is our back off logic. Attempts plus equals one. Um, delay is we just take the attempts times 200. So this is just wrong. And I was doing some fancy exponential back off. Um, okay, cool. And then we set to the run at as now plus some delay. Yep, so we just enqueue it for the future. Oh, because this is the retry. We don't know whether it's going to work or not, so we always assume it's going to fail. And if it doesn't, um, if it does work, we'll have removed it from the queue and we don't need to retry. That's done by this got response. That's what the retain is doing. It's throwing away ones that um, we did get. So I'm actually not sure we're going to do the async thing that I talked about because um, now that I have these multiple threads, it I think would make that a little harder to do and doesn't feel quite as necessary anymore. Um, so I think I'm not going to do it. I think what I want to do is I want to change, I want to add like an optional parameter to my broadcast message. A request body. Yep. Okay. So broadcast has a broadcast, um, has a already sent to, um, is a vec of strings since it's a vector um it's kind of optional just because it can be empty by default um default 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 no it'll just default for default default yeah um Let's see if that just works. I think that'll just not do anything. Like it, it's fine if that's in the struct. Oh, except for type safety all over the place. Type safety. Oof. Um, okay, so Rust Analyzer is very upset. Man, it's still very upset. I was hoping it was gonna be less upset now. Okay. Um requests line 43. Yeah. 43 here we go is that it though that would be pretty cool if that was it nah gossips line 72 um already sent to is an empty vet nice Okay, uh, so this is working, but like, it feels like it's taking longer than it usually does. Is it failing? I think everything's failing. Yeah, nice. Um, I think the easiest way, so I think there's a way to make Saturday just do this for me. Yeah, there's probably a way to make Saturday do this for me. I'm going to do that. Um, error missing field already sent to Yeah, okay. Saturday, uh, fill in field with default, default value. Um, do, 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 main, you have a default of, of default default uh, and I don't think I need that on it it looks like um, is that better? probably didn't need C instead I'm not sure that's any different 
Okay, that seems like it's better though. Um, I did C instead of D because um, it just does a different challenge. I think this one's the fault tolerant challenge, which I guess I actually didn't need to do here really, but that's okay. Um, really, I could have just done any challenge because it was a just like, is the thing going to run kind of issue. And it was not before. We needed to add this default for this already sent to that's like totally not in spec, right? It's something we're adding on top of it. Awesome. Okay. So that works. And then in those places that I just added my little hacks, we need to do something different. So when you go to handle a request already sent to um gossip gossip might now need to know already sent to um already sent to which is a vec of strings um so i think that's gonna we're gonna have to add that in here um it's a gossip with a, a and a vec of strings um except i think i'm going to change this to be a message and this is already sent to uh just making this named instead of tuple uh, expected colon yes awesome okay um so then in requests, that's how we handle sending the gossip. Okay, so now we actually have to do something with it. Had way too many of those open. Okay. Now we're in our gossip file. Broadcast has that. Wait. Uh. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is just not... That wouldn't have compiled. I don't know what, what it was... Uh, Oh, message I'm already sent to. Yep. Okay. So already sent to, um, oh, already sent to can just be yourself. Like this doesn't need to. Okay, cool. So f iter filter for, uh, already sent to contain the uh, filter for the ones where it doesn't already contain D. Yep. Awesome. Okay, so then we don't need to do the ones that someone else is in charge of, is basically what we're saying. If someone else is in charge of it, they've got it. They will eventually send the message. Um, okay, and now we just need to actually send that, I think. Sorry for that. Needed to cough quick. Okay. So we now just need to send it. So when we're making requests, there's a empty vec that we need to. So when we, when we do a broadcast, wait, no, no, no. It's in gossip. That's cause that's where we have to do the sending, right? Handle no, no, in gossip. When we get a gossip message, oh, it's in the job. It's in the job. Okay. Mm, that's why, because the output of this isn't something that uh, the request body broadcast. Yeah. No, that contains a broadcast. Oh, and I get a broadcast from so okay oh I, there's the vec this is this is all i was looking for i just couldn't find it okay um let's um oh so we already have an already sent to let mutable already sent to dot push your ID um, and already sent dot append self dot topology dot clone yep 
Okay, okay. So then we're saying no matter what it was already sent to, we're, we're keeping that. We append to it ourselves. We've already got it, for sure. And everyone we're about to send it to. Yep, perfect. Uh, that might be enough. So let's try C. C's are... Aha! Oh, oh, okay. That's fine. Um, in requests... Our gossip method... Uh, yeah, it definitely doesn't need the whole thing there. Oh, wait a second. Wow, that's not uh, how this works. There's a message here. Um, B already sent that. Perfect. Um, I think I'm just going to need a clone somewhere or something to fix that. Um, expected, found reference to it. Yeah, where? Uh, requests line 60. Already sent to, because it comes here. Yeah, we're just going to clone that. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Things seem to be working. We see some messages. Um, so if this works, that means we're still fault tolerant, which is good. If we're not fault tolerant, that means we have a bug and we got to fix it. But I'm hoping we're fault tolerant. And then I'm hoping that this reduces the number of operations, messages per operation, messages per operation in the next one by like a huge, huge margin. Oh no, analysis invalid. That's not that's not what I wanted to see. Um, I think we dropped a message or something. Yep, it looks like we're dropping lots of messages. Lost count 64 of these got lost. Um Okay, so let's go to the gossip thing. This is actually where our um retry logic could be coming in so before everyone was just gossiping at like an a, astonishing degree um so it didn't matter too too much how often we did it but maybe now it does i mean actually what if we just uh Like, I think I could just not do that. I think the delay in retries is just an optimization. So we just don't do it right now. We'll just spam things a lot, but that's fine. That's better than not. Um, and I think I was playing with those in like kind of an accident in the last one because I was seeing some effect in the throughputs when I changed to those, even though I really shouldn't. Um, because there's no there's no faults in that next challenge, I didn't realize at the time. Um, so I think that that was just kind of from that. But I don't think it's necessary. Nope, still invalid. Dang. Stable count, stale count. Lost count. 86 of these got lost. Wow, okay. Uh, so, wow, what's my diff? What did I do just completely wrong? Uh, so we don't do anything about resetting the attempts. That's, I don't think, our bug, though. Um, so if you're handling gossip and you have a list of things that have already seen this message, you add yourself to it, which is the same thing we compared there, self.node ID, yep. And then we push all of the things all of our topology to it oh that's still an empty vec like i we did all this work and then we didn't forward it through there we go that'll do something different at a minimum uh because we were just like we we're saying okay i got it um, but then we didn't forward that. Wait, that should actually have not. 
Hmm. I'm not convinced this is actually going to fix it. Because if anything, that was saying, hey, next note, I don't got it. You figure it out. And then it should have sent it to everyone. So that should have been more chatty. If that didn't work, I'm not sure this will. It definitely won't. Those reads have nothing in them. Yeah. Okay, so let's look through the diffs again, I think. Um, that's the error handling. I don't care about the error handling. This says, now there's two things you get in a gossip. You get the message and who it's already been sent to. Let's go from the request side. Oh, from the request side here, though. Um, when you get a broadcast event, it'll have who it's already been sent to. This might be empty, but that's fine. All you do, like you don't, if you haven't received the value yet, you gossip it and you gossip it knowing who it's already been sent to. You just pass that through. And then in our gossip handler, when you get some gossip, you know who it's already been sent to. So you remember that. already sent to here is the whole vec yep yep so we push to it and then we append all of the places we're about to send it to filter for already sent to that's not gonna work um yeah, that's that's the bug. Okay, um, so the problem here is that I can't add things to it and then go through and filter out the ones that aren't in it because they're none of them are going to be in it. That's the the whole point of of doing this. Um, so I think I want let original already sent to is that dot clone and then we do this with original already sent to yeah. Um, uh, like this is okay. So what if we change this to, um, already sent to plus me, um, and then it's just already sent to plus me, push me, then we don't need this. Um, yeah. Um, I guess I could do this. Maybe I'll do this. Let, um, to send to. Yeah, there we go. So from the topology, we filter over the things that, um, already sent to. Just already sent to. Um. You send to, and then, oh no, I did want this to be something different. Already sent to plus me, to send to, this then just becomes to send to. I don't think I need the collect there. Um, and then, already sent to, append, to send to. Oh, yeah, okay, whatever. Let's do this. Let's do that. Already sent you plus me. Uh, this dot clone. I don't really like how this code looks, but I think this will run better. Oh, um, and then I can maybe add that error delay back in a tiny bit because um, yeah, something just got oh no, that might be fine. That might be what happens when the network is failing.
Okay. Um. This one looks very different than before. Lost. There's a lot of, not that many lost, but there's definitely some lost. Okay. Um. So there is this store. Yeah, so, so let's go. Let's look at the store. Uh, latest um, node logs, like any of these. Uh, cool. Sent the same message to these nodes many, many times. <laughs> um, This did a lot of receiving and like no sending for a while. Received topology, sent topology, okay. Received broadcast, sent broadcast, okay. And then received a lot of broadcasts without sending any responses. Oh. Wow. Wait, no, 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 wait, why is that? I didn't think this would block that. Interesting, why are they not interspersed at all? Message ID... Wait, where is my message ID getting set? That, there's something wrong with my message ID, I think. Okay, let me look at the diff again here. Something's, something's wonky. Uh, the only thing here is we added this optional thing. Okay, so nothing exciting there. Message is this thing and already sent to. It has a message ID, a message and already sent to. And like, I didn't mess with those. Message already sent to IDs generate message ID. Oh, wait, do messages like these just have to be unique? Yeah, message IDs just have to be unique for the thing sending them. Okay. Well, that doesn't make sense then, though, still. When are we calling generate message ID? In gossip. Does it make sense to do it here and yeah because i don't actually yeah like this is message yeah that seems like the right place to do it yeah self that ideas yeah Um, fetch ad takes an ordering which describes the memory ordering all ordering modes are possible note that acquire makes the store part of this operation relax and using release with the additional gives that all threads see all conceptually yeah okay so like that's fetch ad Mm 
We do have threads going on here, but like I don't think that's the issue. Message ideable for node, yeah. Hmm. And this just looks interesting that we have so many sending with message ID three and four. Oh wait, is that the same message? Yes. Okay. Um, let's add some let's add some of our delay back in. The the no delay might be we might be starving out other work. That could totally be the case. Okay, where is this? Okay, let's see. So maybe the answer is since we were just running retries so fast, we were starving out the work to do anything else. That seems to be the case. Yeah, it seems like our gossip thing was just gossiping too fast. That makes sense. This was just a busy loop, basically. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's take a look at this diff. Actually, no, I know this diff really well by this point. Let's see if we can run D now. This is our efficiency challenge. Let's see if we've got our latency and or our, uh, I think the, the operations, the messages for operation should be down. That's the, the big one I'm expecting to see drop. These message lists just get super long. Um, we got to 816 for just like raw throughput numbers. Okay, everything still looks good. Latencies are pretty high, 933 and 518. But let's look at the operations per message number. Okay. Do, 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 do. Here we go. 92. Okay, so way more than, or way less, way more than I need, but way better than before. Not actually as better as before as I would have thought, though, if we're being honest. Yeah, interesting. Um, okay, yeah, the messages per operation. I expected this to be a lot down. Client sent this, received that. Yep, okay. Sent, received, message count. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. I really expected that to drop this by a lot more than that. Now, um, is this something where I can just change this to like a five and, and everything just gets better? I doubt it. No, I'm just saying, you know, just don't retry that often. This is actually be like, this is bad for the max of uh, 600 because like that's a, an attempt. So uh, not going to be the best for the max latency, but we'll see what happens. Eight sixty seven. It's around the same ballpark as before. Yeah, those are bigger. Oh, forty seven, though, messages per operation. So, like, that's a lot better. Like, can I just crank this up to like a thousand seconds then per attempt? Like, wait multiple seconds then if there's lots of failures? Be very not chatty, but like probably survive network failures. Uh, 
Um, so this, I'm going to need some, some different ideas next a little bit. Okay. Um, latencies. Oh, not as bad as I thought, but not good. Um, 46. Yep, so closer. That one actually didn't change too, too much, though. I need to get under 30. Under 30 is going to be interesting. Hmm. Okay, yeah, sorry, I was just looking at these numbers and reading. Um, this doesn't give us too much different to go off of. Okay, so my general idea was... Just do a gossip to the people next to you based on topology. Um, gossip with who you're sending it to so that the people you gossip to don't have to gossip to the same people. Um, I wonder if... So that's then going to mean that one node that receives it is going to be responsible for gossiping to all of its peers and its peers won't be responsible for gossiping unless they can get outside of the topology from that node right yeah unless they have a different topology to look at um i don't really know what topology is gonna B. Let's look at some of these, I guess, right? Um, so like you get a topology. Oh, and it's like, okay, right. So we are N1 here. So N1 in this list can talk to, oh, I don't see N1 in this list, but it's got to be here somewhere. Oh, and no, destination N1. Yeah. Um... And one. Uh, so 620. Okay. Yep. Uh, topology. Okay. Read. Okay. Broadcast. And then it's going to then send a broadcast. Whoa. Wait. It's broadcast of this message went to. Wait. What? received a broadcast message from N6. Oh, this is us saying broadcast. Okay, so yeah, so I'm saying now broadcast to N6. N6, yep. Okay, broadcast to N6. Sending. No, it brought, it sent it to me. Okay. An 11 and 1 and seven and five. Oh, okay. Yep. We just sent a broadcast. Okay. Um, and then we're going to send a broadcast with message one. Message one. We're going to send that to N2 and N0. Because those aren't in this list. Yep. N6, yeah, so I send it to N2, N0. Okay. That seems reasonable enough. N2, N0, N6, except 6 is we got it from, so we're not going to send it back to 6. Yeah. Yeah. And we got a received a broadcast from N2 on message zero yeah so this is a different one we're like okay i got it and two let me broadcast it back out to some more peeps 
Yep. Yep, and then we get a broadcast OK message, and we're like, okay, cool. We now don't need to worry about um, message nine. Hmm. Hmm. And six and two and zero. And six, two, zero. We got it from N1 then. Yep. Mm hmm. Oh, that's the broadcast. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's it's from this broadcast of message. Oh, this is the message nine received broadcast nine from the same thing. Yep. That one's a gossip one. Got it. Yeah, I am a little bit unsure how to make this a lot more efficient. I really thought that was going to be enough to get it under at least the 30. Um, yeah, efficient gossip protocol. Um, so maybe I'm about to start reading some papers. Um, the level of trust accorded to certification authorities has been decreasing over the last years as several cases of misbehavior and compromise have been observed. Log-based approaches such as certificate transparency ensure that fraudulent TLS certificates become publicly visible. However, a key element that log-based approaches still lack is a way for clients to verify that the log behaves in a consistent and honest manner. This task is challenging due to privacy, efficiency, and deployability reasons. In this paper, we propose the first... To the best of our knowledge, gossip protocol that enabled the detection of log inconsistencies. Okay, that sounds cool, but it's not really what I just want in general. I just want to, like, I guess just read about gossip protocols. Um, might employ some of these ideas. The core of the protocol involves periodic pairwise interprocess transactions. Interactions. The information exchanged during these interactions is of bounded size. When agents interact, the state of at least one agent changes to reflect the state of the other. This I'm trying to do. Reliable communication is not assumed. Yep. The frequency of interactions is low compared to typical message latencies so that protocol costs are negligible. Okay, well, interesting. We gave ourselves like 100 milliseconds of network delay. That's part of the challenge, but that's okay. There is some form of randomness in peer selection. Uh, peers might be selected from a full set of nodes or from a smaller set of neighbors. Yep. Due to the replication, there is implicit redundancy of the delivered information. Yes. Dissemination protocols or rumor mongering. They use gossip to spread information. They basically work by flooding agents in the network, but in a manner that produces bounded worst case loads. Uh, they report events, but gossip occurs periodically and events don't actually trigger the gossip one concern here is the potentially high latency from when the event occurs until it is delivered background data dissemination protocols continuously gossip about information associated with the participating nodes typically propagation latency isn't a concern because the information in question changes slowly or is there no significant penalty for acting upon significantly stale data Oh, interesting. So the big thing here, they report events, but the gossip occurs periodically and doesn't actually, and events don't actually trigger the gossip. That's interesting. That's interesting. Because I was going to say that they happen... Well, what if I, what if I'm actually really close to that? What if, well, there's two things. One, if you get some information, so if you get some information and it has a list of things that it's already sent to, 
one we yeah so we want to gossip it so we want to send it to the gossip handler so that the gossip handler knows about it for sure and the gossip handler is going to get some gossip and it's like already sent to cool i can do something with this um and then that's what i want to do um let's see if our gossip queue can be trimmed based on this info so self dot gossip queue dot retain um in queue so in queue dot broadcast Broadcast. No, I don't want the message ID. Um, dot message. Uh, it does not equal message ID and um I want it to I want this to uh there we go. Rust format for me. Okay, so we retain everything from the gossip queue if this if the message isn't um what we just got and already sent to contains retain it if uh, oh yeah i don't want that there if it doesn't equal that and already sent to doesn't contain this destination if it contains this destination someone else already sent it to we're allowed to ignore it just just nope it um uh, let run at equals mm, yeah like what what if i just do it in a second and run at is just run at okay that's interesting that's super interesting let's try in the face of partitions This one I think is should should work. Um latency should be up a bit because it's when you gossip, you just wait a while until you even try. And dang it, invalid. Okay, first of all, latencies are huge. That's not surprising. Um everything just gets stale is it just too big like if i just change it to like 400 milliseconds is one second just too much So I could change it to do more exactly like Wikipedia said, where it's just on a schedule, it gossips. I kind of like this idea. You just wait a sec, like you just delay it for a second. So you don't just spam the world right away. Okay, so we're losing things now why and i'm assuming that if i just do this um this is still gonna work right i guess there was two things i changed at once one was the throwing out of stuff a little bit better and the other was we just gossip slightly differently Um, I was seeing way less of these broadcast messages before, and that's interesting. Okay, everything looks good. Okay, awesome. So it was not the latency thing. This is fine. Let's actually change this back to a second. I like that idea. 
um it's this let's see if our gossip queue can be trimmed down based on this information so our gossip queue is things that we are trying to send but we haven't successfully sent yet and i think that's important so if the we want to retain things where the message this is us being told to gossip about something new but already and already sent to here doesn't include ourselves. this is just what we got from the thing so we retain it if already sent to doesn't contain the destination this feels like it should work Unless somehow, oh, it comes back because of our own already sent to. It's like gonna gossip around and come back to us. That could, th that could happen. Um, so now we're just trying the fault, uh, the, the, the efficiency one again with the new, um, don't gossip all the time thing. Just gossip every, like, wait a second before you even try gossiping. Hard to tell whether this is better or worse than before. Much more out of order. Okay, everything looks good. Latencies are just huge. Just huge latencies. Forty-eight still. I guess that's fair. I didn't cut down on how many are gonna happen. I just delayed them with my most recent change. Because now you don't even start trying to gossip for the first second. Already sent to, already sent to plus me, and then already sent to with all of topology added to it, and then to send to is, we filter out the, from topology the ones, yeah, okay. Um, like... This could be two cent to dot clone. Oh, yeah, no, uh, dot clone dot collect apparently, yeah. Uh, that shouldn't really do anything. I'm just gonna run C to make sure it still works. That was just changing it to like make that logic make more sense to me. Um, I didn't do very good at narrating that, but uh, um, I just so I, I think this makes more sense. So we find the set that it's already sent to at ourselves. The ones we want to send it to is your neighbors, but not if they've already been sent to. This me check is like silly. I think we could just ignore it separately. Um, Yeah, already sent to no plus me. Just like get rid of that whole logic. To send is the things in topology that it hasn't already been sent to. Um, and then we just take that, say it's sent to those, and then we loop over the two sends. Yeah, okay. Ordering's a little weird, but this reads a lot better to me. Um, Oh, okay, so we got to clone the iterator, and then I can call cloned on the... Aw. That was going to be cool if that worked. Okay. Um, yeah, mm-hmm, that's fair. Iter, filter...
Yeah, because filter does already send to... No, so I do need that one. I'm not sure I like that anymore, but if it runs, that's fine. Okay, so C is looking good, um, and I think my D efficiency per thing is not going to be much better yet. Uh, do I need some like jitter? Rust random duration. Uh, yeah, something like that. That'll work. Um, I'm going to call it Jitter. Uh, cargo add Rand. Um... Run C. It's jitter break out. Gen range. That's the one that needs the import. That makes sense. Import it. There we go. Okay. Seems to be working. I didn't really expect the jitter to break it, so it, it makes sense. Then it's working for C, the fault tolerant challenge. I'm more curious about D um, and seeing if this helps at all. My hope is that when we add a, add some jitter, they don't all hit their hundred milliseconds and start flooding each other. Some like sent first, then that gets received by the other, then like then they like kind of kind of kind of take turns a little bit. So some people will already know about things. Uh, before they need to be gossiped too and, and stuff like that. Um, I also changed this to not wait a second. Now it's 100 milliseconds before we try, so that should lower my latencies by a lot. Uh, there's a chance this is doing way better than previously. Uh, hard to say. Not way better, but potentially better. Okay, latencies are way better than before, but still redonkulously high for the challenge. And 46, we, I can't get it below 46. Okay, so 46. Yeah, so 81,000, 81888. Yep, minus this number. So this number is the number that... So like 78,000 for 25 nodes. Oh, okay. Well, to the power of is like, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 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 Every message I sent, 46 other messages to other things in my cluster. Oh yeah, and I only have 25 things. So what if I stop looking at topologies and try sending to everybody each time?
Um. Yeah, no, just knows it's Pierce. So then when I go to gossip, I don't have to use topology. Um. Self dot. Node. Oh, I don't have the node here. That kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, because that just goes to request handler. Wait, no, gossip manager. Oh, okay. So th it starts out by knowing that topology. And then, um, so I think basically what I want to do is you're always going to use the topology that you have. But if you get a new topology message, you just know off it. Uh, you're always going to use the topology of everybody. I don't think this is going to be the answer either. Wow. So super quick. Holy crap, I did it. Um... Okay, that makes sense, because for the efficiency challenge, I don't want to use their topologies, because their topologies are so small and defined as nearest neighbor that I'm never going to be able to do it in enough messages per operation. Because it's just, they ju it just has to hop. Right? If I can, yeah, okay. I'm just cutting out the middlemen. Instead of going from node A to B to C, I can just go from A to C. And just broadcast it out that way. Okay. 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 Let's commit this before I break it. Uh, well, let's, let's, no, let's commit it. But, um, I think this passes the first efficiency challenge. Efficiency challenge. And I think, I mean, it does. It, it definitely did the first time. Uh, let's run C again, just to confirm that it wasn't a fluke, that we are still fault tolerant. Uh, this should definitely still be fault tolerant here. Yeah, because if we're going for a low number of messages per operation, it makes sense that going around hops is not the way to do it. Um, it also makes sense why hops add to latency if each hop takes 100 milliseconds, right? So if we're in a world where network things are pretty slow, you want to avoid hops. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Everything's looking good. Okay, and let's do D again one more time to make sure the efficiency numbers look good. Okay. Okay, so that was... Um, actually, I do want to try some more things before we move on, um, but that is 3,400 and 600. Yeah, that is, it was below that for sure. Okay, let's make sure this one's happy too. Everything looks good. Under 400, but barely under 300, right? Oh no, under 400. So I have way, I have latency to spare for days here. Eh, for days is an, it was a stretch, but we're good on latency. And operations up here somewhere. 24 message per operation. 
which is below our 30. Okay, moving on to part two of our broadcast challenge. Let's just take this file. Uh, this is run E. It looks something like this. Um, I run Maelstrom like this. Um, okay, test. Broadcast challenge. The binary is my binary. Node count 25. Time limit 20. Rate 100. Wait. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, so now I have even more latency to spare. But... I want to get even less messages per operation. So I want to go under 20. Okay. Uh, let's just copy these down into... So this is for E. Yeah. And then we can go back and do the same thing over here for C or D. This is just so that they uh, actually have something different in them. Okay, perfect. So now I should be able to run E uh, and then, like nothing is going to have changed. So it's going to do exactly the same thing. Okay, so what can I do to decrease messages per operation, and, but I'm allowed to increase latency? I have a thought. I don't, I don't know what the, how it's going to be. Um, jitter, you can go up to like five seconds. Um, you start off with 300 milliseconds and you might have a whole half second of delay. Uh, let's try it out. It's definitely going to make the latency is worse. And I'm wondering if it changes the operations per messages per operation. Okay, it's still a good long list. I think it gives it a second for me to like catch up and all that. Everything looks good. We're under a second max still. Twenty-five. So not much different. Um, that does make sense though, because I'm just like to get under 20 is going to be a feat. I'm going to have to bundle things. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Um, no one said I can't bundle things together. I just bundle things together. Yeah. Right? Okay, so the protocol so far... Uh, sign in. Awesome. Let's just open a new scene. Cool. Okay, so, uh, squares can be nodes. This is a node. Let's make another node and another node. Um... Uh, let's delete them. Let's write nodes in them. Ah! Okay. Write some text. N, zero. Bigger. That looks like no. <laughs> N, one. Okay, perfect. Boop. Nope. Uh, group. Nope. There we go. Oh, uh, that doesn't want a new line down there. There we go. There we go. Group them together. That's not how you group them, apparently. 
uh group command g got it okay okay two okay so no three. yeah so right now things go one by one so like we would do something from here to here for like three and then we would do three down to here um but we'd also do two and we'd also do two down to here um but since we're not gossiping per event anymore well we are but we delay it it's fine we can change that up um i think what i want to do is figure out a way to instead of doing them separately do something more like this where i can send a message that's just three two um and my gossip process pro process before was more disseminate it was like really what i would say gossipy i send it to you you send it to them they send it to da, blah 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 gossip style um and like that is i think the best for a strictly fault tolerant like will respond to basically any fault but i think how maelstrom is set up to work is that it expects you always to be able to connect from any node to another node eventually right like if you can't now you will be able to eventually um so yeah um i think what i can do is instead of going from an event by event i can do something where we get an array and we pass that around instead um so let's work on something like that maybe um because i don't think just changing the jitter is gonna be enough for it um yeah um but i guess i would like kind of like oh wait no no it's just it it gave me more room there yeah if i pass d no because yeah i could have latencies that are higher than this yeah okay so they're like not super mutually exclusive um but it's fine i already have a commit so i can always go back to that commit if i need to um but also like i don't really need the changes to gossip the the, the those didn't those weren't really what I needed. Um, it's like we can just discard those. That's, that's not a problem, really. Um, okay. Add scripts for next challenge. Keep bumping my mic there hopefully that's not too loud team um okay so what i want to do is add some different types of messages first let's handle receiving one of these messages so request body um it's like a broadcast but it's like a bulk broadcast Up. bulk broadcast why okay there we go bulk broadcast there we go you um can you just contain a vec of broadcasts i bet so yeah um okay so then what do you do with it when you get one of these um broadcasts uh for b in broadcasts uh self.handle request which i think is this method 
with a new broadcast perfect that's exactly what i wanted so if you get a bulk broadcast just loop through them like they were individual broadcasts um the only reason to do a bulk broadcast is to set le send less messages to everything which is perfect okay so awesome so we can we can accept bulk broadcasts now we never send one but that's fine at the moment um cool and like there is something for a response body which is gonna be like bulk broadcast which is just a vec of broadcasts yeah wait response body no those don't ever make it in response bodies. Uh, do I need a... I might need a bulk broadcast, okay. Bulk broadcast, okay. Bulk broadcast, okay. Okay. Um, awesome. So we can now send one. We're not doing it yet, but we can. Um, gossip. So it's gossip Q is a vec of jobs. Um, so I think I want to change that. I think I want to make something that's called to gossip. Um, and it's a hash map from string from uh from like destination to back of messages yep exactly um so to gossip is the is empty to start um and so like let's get well let's get rid of gossip queue i don't want gossip queue anymore no gossip queue why isn't it just like is my rust analyzer just just having a bad day um because like yeah like gossip dot push doesn't exist anymore um okay so self dot to gossip entry or insert with that push Broadcast message ID. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, we, we push message. Message. Um. So, the one thing there is I'm going to lose my IDs being from here yeah and this is gonna complicate it a little more than I want to especially when I can't just send something and like get a response back nicely for it Yeah, I don't know though. This this doesn't sound too bad, right? So to, to gossip, you just add it to this queue. Um, and I guess to gossip, like that that can be the thing. It can be a vec of. It can be a vec of jobs even. Like why not? Like it can be a job. That's fine. Is it silly? Sure, it'll work though. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Um. Got response. Um, in response to values not retain. There's no way you can just do that. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, no, I forgot that this doesn't like uh isn't type checking like at all right now. It's just chilling.
Is I'll use mute even like a, a thing. You're just gonna let me you're just gonna let me get away with that, Rust? The answer is no, of course it's not gonna let me get away with that, but like Hmm? Yeah, unknown field gossip. Okay, yeah. It's just blowing up on stuff, which is very reasonable. Um. To gossip dot values mute. I don't think I need that mute there. Um, uh, 123 of gossip. Oh, yeah, fair. Or job in jobs. There we go. Oh, and fourteen. Oh, yeah, uh, that two. Gossip dot values mute. Yeah, that's that'll work. Okay, yeah, so that doesn't work. Really. I was like, there just is a retain method on values mute. Like, that's pretty cool. Um,. Yeah, so this one's the hard one. Um, wait, but my in response to... Oh no, this just has the message ID. Um... Uh, so like let keys equal self dot to gossip dot keys dot clone of four k in keys uh that uh so for all the keys get the jobs out of them um there should be something because we just got it from keys and we retain the things that it's, this isn't in response to um but when you try sending like um I don't really want to do that. I want to do it for the whole vec of things. But then I'm not going to do time as well. Because... I don't know. Let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just do some stuff. Okay. Um, or, uh, so let's do let keys equal, yep. 4k in keys okay so for each key uh let the jobs equal that um if uh let uh, min run at equals jobs that iterator min by key run at unwrap run at love it um that unwrap is not necessarily safe um, if jobs dot 
is empty. Uh, remove the key, leave the key. Remove the key, leave the key. Doesn't really matter to me. Um, okay, then this wrap unwrap is safe. Um, if the min run at is less than or equal to no. Uh, if man run out of here to the now we continue, sure. Um, and then this is where we do the bulk sending. Um, so it's gonna be something like the body of this. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um... Okay, so now, like, I have a set of jobs. Um, okay, so the message is a request body of a bulk broadcast of, um, jobs.iter.map broadcast clone collect awesome to the destination where destination is our key e dot clone um yep okay so then uh let sample job equals jobs at zero um okay and then sample job that attempts let sample job dot run at. Um, nope, I actually want to do it for all of these. Or J in jobs. Yep. Nope, nope. Uh, because that has that there, we're going to leave it. Okay. Uh, build? No, no build. Um, handle request line 95. Oh, yeah, no, you're gonna, you're gonna want a some broadcast okay message. Something like that. Um, gossip line 108. Um, expected string. Uh, gossip 152. Yeah, this is self.node id uh, is this in a loop is it... oh no no id is not okay that's fine oh um, i actually don't need simple job Okay, yep. Oh, what if we just... Uh, oops, no, I want to just... Oops. I just don't want to do the removing, because that's the bit that modifies it. Keys dot two vec or something. Is there like a two vec on this? Uh, to owned. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, dot iter. Dot cloned. Dot collect. He's not an iter. Okay, you're probably already an iterable. That makes sense. Um, expected that, found of that. Yep. Well, I guess I just probably could just not clone that. Nope. It needs the clone. Um, or else the strings reference it. Wait. Oh! Is that what it's been telling me about this whole time? No. 117. Okay. Use is a vec. Yes. Okay. Um, are you still fault tolerant? It's a great question. Uh, I'm thinking it's it's very broken. Yeah, very very broken. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, main line 88. Uh, okay, yep. Uh, sending on a disconnected channel. Oh, I can't serialize tag to new variant. New type of variant. Cast containing a sequence. Gossip line 152. Um, I think I have to make it a this kind of type, which I think then means I need to make. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is that? Wait. First of all, are you going to build? No. Um, line, gossip line 146. Broadcasts, and then in requests, okay, there we go, now are you going to compile, compiles, okay, uh oh, those timeouts aren't good. Probably means I'm blowing up one of my nodes here. Come on, Jepson, give me my results. Um, unknown variant, bulk broadcast, okay. Mm, mm-hmm. Um. Bulk broadcast, 
Okay. Something like that? Yeah, I don't know about that doing its job, but uh, I think it'll... There's a variant with a similar name. Oh, okay, so request body. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I forgot how this works. Bulk broadcast okay has the exact same fields as broadcast okay. Oh. Okay. No promise this is going to work better. Okay, there we go. We're at least sending things. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I don't actually know if it prints out the things that I send interstitially or not. I'm kind of guessing on no. Okay, phew! Um, let's just run E. Doesn't really matter. Uh, D and E are the same. Okay. So if I did anything even moderately correctly, this should be less messages per operation. About the same latency. I don't think I changed that much. I'm just doing things in bulk instead of one by one now. That looks worse though, actually. That looks like less things. That's fine. Throughput's not even a concern at all at the moment, but that is interesting. Okay. Oh, those numbers are tiny. Okay, there we go. Um, 24. Okay, so I got under 25. <laughs> um, but not by nearly as much as I would have expected. Bulk broadcast. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, so I've got some bulk broadcasts with one thing in them. Oh, there's one where two of them got together. Um, but I have an idea then. So if the I if I like this idea, um, oh well. Wait, is this even being used anymore? Where's Jitter? Yeah. Okay. So Jitter's done here. Yeah. Okay. What if we give these a thousand again? Uh, that's why my latency was so low. Um, I had gone back to a thousand, uh, 100 milliseconds instead of a second. Uh, if, we do, if we do it this way, I should do a lot more bulk broadcasts because we'll wait a lot more time in the middle before gossiping. So, like this, this could have a big difference. Because um, we were doing it like 10 times as often. So, like, th there was a, like a tenth less bulk potentially. That's also bigger than before. 845 is a higher number. Okay. Come on, give me some good readouts, Jepson. Oh, okay, so close, but that's too high on the max. That's okay. And 15. There we go. Okay. Uh, if I run it again, I might just get under the, the numbers they wanted anyways. I could also like bring down the jitter a little bit or something. Um, but I think that is probably going to do it. Um, we already did this one. This is the first one. The second one is below 20, median below 1, max below 2. We're pretty close to that. Ooh, cool. Um, if this completes it, we are good to go on to the grow only counter. 
Awesome. Okay, so this, so this, so this is like we got the basics of a gossip protocol. Then, um, the key to making this efficient was not doing it on every event. You get an event, chill for a bit, gossip in bulk. Oh no. Oh, okay. Everything looks good. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna we're gonna have to change these just a touch. We're still just over two. But we are at. 15 still perfect okay so we're still very low um which is awesome it means that i can probably just change this to like yeah the jitter seems great what if we just cut down 300 milliseconds overall from every single request wonder how much the jitter helps. I could just remove it and see what happens. But I feel like the jitter's gotta help them not just all smash at each other. Okay. 816's not awful. The last one's also not necessarily the highest, but I think it is this time. Nope, 821. I saw one that was slightly higher. Okay, there we go. That's under our two that we were looking for. And moment of truth. 16 messages per operation. Okay. With some bulk messages, we can get under 20 messages per op. Um, and I imagine we can also, if we just change these numbers, fit back to like that and that, I think this put us back at the 25 range. Like this should still actually pass. Uh, they, they're not, they do the same thing, but this should still pass the other challenge. So it's really just the amount of time we wait before gossiping. It's going to change um, the numbers here. It's going to increase the latency and decrease the messages per operation. And so like that's the little slider we have here between these two challenges. Um, so this one should just be um under 600 300 and then under 30 still i think we're going to be right on 25 yep awesome under 300 under 600 and then here we've got 25 perfect um let's reset those back to what was actually working for our challenge uh, let's push that because uh, that is an accomplishment. Um, I got a little discouraged halfway in the middle and did not think we were going to get that efficiency challenge done, but uh, we did. Awesome. We are good to go on to our grow only counter. Phew, we have a new one to work on now. Um, I think I will read through this and maybe get an idea of what we're going to do. Um, and then I will probably... Uh, uh, be done with stream for the day, I think, but I want to at least read through this and understand it, and then we'll, we'll see what's next. In this challenge, you'll need to implement a stateless grow-only counter, which will run against Maelstrom's G-counter workload. This challenge is different before in that your nodes will rely on a sequ sequentially consistent key value store service provided by Maelstrom. Your node will need to accept two RPC-style message types, add and read, your service need only be eventually consistent. Given a few seconds without writes, it should converge to the correct counter value. Please note that the final read from each node should return the final and correct count. Okay. Your node should accept add requests and increment the value of a single global counter. Your node will receive a request message body that looks like this. So you tell it to add and give it a delta and it will need to return an add OK acknowledgement message. Then you have read. Your read, your node should accept read requests and return the current value of the global counter. Remember that the counter surface is only sequentially consistent. Your node will receive 
a request message body that looks like this, and it will need to return a read OK message with the current value. Service, sequential key value. Maelstrom provides a sequentially consistent key value store called, called sequential key value, which has read, write, and cast operations. The Go library provides a wrapper for the service that you can instantiate using this. Uh, we don't have this service, so we will not be. Uh, we're using a, our my handcrafted Rust, so we don't have the niceties, but that's okay. The API is as follows. When you tell it to read a key, it reads the value for the given key and it returns a key does not exist error if the key doesn't exist. Um, read int reads the value of a key as an integer, so just read and then converts to integer. Um, write, uh, compare and swap. Compare and swap up, oh that's what cas is, compare and swap. Um, compare and swap updates the value for a key if its current value matches the previous value. Creates the key if create if not exist is true and then return some errors. Um, so build a go binary as counter and run it against maelstrom with the following command. This will run a three node cluster for 20 seconds and, in, and increment the counter at a rate of 100 requests per second. It will induce network partitions during the test. If you're successful, write on, continue to the Kafka style log challenge. If you're having trouble, ask for help on the fly community forum. Okay. So we need to do a sequentially consistent key value store, or we need to make a grow stateless grow only counter, which will run against this workload using a se sequentially consistent key value store. So I think this one's not hard and I think it's just getting used to using a sequential con sequentially consistent key value store under the hood. Um, and I think the big thing here is that I think, and I thought this for gossip too and was wrong, or broadcast, whichever, whatever. I think this one can be just synchronous. Like this one can be, you get an ad request, you do some stuff, and then you respond with ad okay. You get a read, you do some stuff, and you respond with read okay. Um, I think that'll work for this one. Um, and I think if I did this with like a one node cluster, this would be trivial, right? It's just keep a counter, add things to it, return. Um, and so I think here might be where I will do what I was going to do last time. So that'll be a next, a nice fun stream for next time we do some gossip glommers. I think what we'll do is we'll work on making a, making this asynky enough by adding our own waker. So you'll like send an event. So I think we're going to be, we're going to use an async runtime. We're going to use Tokyo. It's going to be great. Um, but the only thing we're going to do asynky is we're going to await when we send a request to another node, either one of our other nodes or to this, in this case, it's going to be to this sequentially consistent uh, service node. Um, and then when we get a response from that, we'll then wake that awake and do that, that code path. Um, I think that'll make, let us write some really pretty nice async await kind of rust code like and pretend like this is actual http connections and and i think it'll be really pretty cool i mean i think it'll be pretty perfect for this sequential key value i think it'll be um i think it'll make the code for this almost trivial um if it just works so fingers crossed that will work um but i think that will be next time i'm really happy that we got the efficiency broadcast challenges done um yeah, I, I, I think the the key of bulking them at the end makes a lot of sense. I wasn't going to think about it right away. It's like fun how like the problem just like eventually pushed me to be like, OK, well, if you need to go less than 25, which is the number of nodes you have, you can't send one node per message. It just won't work. So you bundle them. I'm like and that, that strategy worked out really well, and I'm, I'm really happy with that solution. Um, OK, but I think we will wrap up here and um i'll be back next time i will definitely be back on sunday for snake sunday where we'll do some battle snake streams um and besides that you can find me on the fediverse at corey ja at toot.cat 
and um, hang around in the discords. You can find my discord channel on my GitHub profile or hang out in the Battlesnake discord if that is more your style. But hopefully I will see you around the internet and talk to you Sunday. Thanks team. See you then. Bye.